guys, I'm back with another album ranking. I filmed this one shortly after the Go one, so if you wonder why I'm dressed the same, why the lighting's the same, that would be why. Um, it's my second time recording this one, so I completely forgot and left an album out. Um, so, this is the album ranking of Swedish death metal band Bloodbath, one of my favourite death metal bands from Sweden. Um, I think they do a killer job of kind of being somewhat a tribute to band like Dismember and Entombed. I mean, there's a billion good bands doing great Swedish style death like Feral, Organic, Cruel, to a point, Gate Creeper, although they're kind of different. Um, anyway, I di digress. That's the word I'm looking for. First up, um, not exactly albums, but definitely worth grabbing, are the Bloodbath Live CD from Varken and DVD CD from Bloodstock Festival here in the UK. I think these are really cool. Um, Live albums, I sort of, I have two mentalities on, I think. I really like some of the bootleg ones, like I have an obituary one that a fan recorded on the uh, Cause of Death tour. That's really cool. I think some of them are just shit and just kind of more a thing of trying to grab some money. Um, but I think these two are pretty cool. There's some really killer footage and stuff on the DVD as well. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, I may have already said that. So first up, my least favourite album. Again... Like with all of these, if I have the whole discography, I definitely like the all the albums because otherwise I wouldn't waste money on them. But someone's got to come in last, and for me that's Resurrection Through Carnage, the first album. Wait, no it's not. Um, that came, I believe, is the first album anyway. I, can't, I really cannot remember the order, so who cares anyway. Um... Resurrection Through Carnage to me, it's still a really cool album. Um, Buried by the Dead is a killer song. Trail of Insects is really killer. There are some really good songs on here. There's just, um, I don't know, I guess this just doesn't feel like a complete album to me. It feels more like a compilation of tracks, so that might be what, what puts this in last for me. But it's still, you know, some really killer material. Next up is the new album. I, I really did enjoy this. Um, there's a couple of things that for me just held it back a little bit. Which are one, the guest cameos with members of uh, Carcass, Cancer and Bolt Thrower. Like three UK musicians actually. Weird choice for a Swedish band. But they're all killer bands and um, musicians or vocalists anyway. I really love this album. But I think one, the guest musicians. They were almost, almost not really worth adding. Because they got such a little kind of window to play with that... Um, there could have been so much more potential from having such legendary people involved. And two, there's, again, with the last release that I mentioned, a few tracks that sort of just don't really fit, I guess. But that this is a 10-track album. I think if they'd have knocked it down to 7 or 8, it would have probably just felt more smooth. But it's still a really good album. Uh, they're definitely not losing it, which is the main thing. Next up is Grand Morbid Funeral. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, how is that not first? It is a fucking great record or cd all this stuff's on cd um just because that's the nature of the beast uh, it's cheaper um but yeah grand morbid funeral is a killer album and we definitely don't have this is definitely these top three don't have any filler tracks in terms of things that just bore me or shouldn't be there it's definitely a solid album throughout it's just not as solid as the other two i guess but definitely these top three are all three fucking good albums. So that's Grand Morbid Funeral in third place. Second is The Fathomless Mastery, which was the first Bloodbath album I actually own from. I think it's from 2008. I can't actually read on there very well. Um, memory says 2008. It's that kind of time anyway. Um, but I definitely really love The Fathomless Mastery. I think that this is crushing. It's It's got slightly more kind of doomy sections. Not like as in Death Doom, but you know, the kind of finished death metal of like kind of dragging stuff out a bit and it works really well with Bloodbath. Um, so this is definitely, a, was a really good place for me to start listening to them when this album dropped because I definitely recall buying this. I remember coming home and just sticking it on and being like, fuck that's heavy. Good times, check out the Fathomless Mastery. And of course, although it may have one of the weakest covers, like the Fathomless Mastery, I think that album cover is just infinitely better than all the others. But Nightmares Made Flesh featuring Eaton, which is something I regularly use um, when I'm tuned in drop B or drop A. I always play 
um, Eaton. I, I mean, I have a HM2 right next to me. I love Swedish death stuff. I just dropped a split of um, two of my projects, Arboretum and Garden of Eyes, which is very much in this vein of Swedish death, but maybe with more Finnish death doom influence than Bloodbath. But um, just in case any of you give a shit about me plugging my music. Um, anyway, back on track. Bloodbath's album Nightmares Made Flesh I think is near perfect Swedish death like Eaton is such a fun track to listen to and play outnumbering the day is really chilling those two are probably the standout tracks but you know you've still got songs like Draped in Disease, Year of the Cadaver Race, Brave New Hell, Soul Evisceration they're just pounding great death metal tracks it's the kind of death metal I think of <clears throat> as kind of chilling with a few buddies kind of death metal like I don't actually think I have a few friends I have like three friends but um that's because I'm a fucking hermit who sits indoors listening to records and making music all the time, so... Anyway, so in my case, listen to with a friend, or two friends maybe, or for you guys who are more sociable perhaps, um, you know, if you've got some buddies around, I don't know if you're having some beers or just chilling out, uh, playing video games or whatever, it's a fun album, it's not like, um, I don't know, maybe sticking on like Triumph or Foul, I think it's the kind of album you listen, band you listen to on your own, Bloodbath and more kind of fun for everyone and that's why i wanted to do this video as well because i do a lot about bands like you know weird obscure bands and uh really sort of harsh bands like a lot of raw black metal war metal kind of obscure speed bands um and i thought you know a lot of people love bloodbath i love bloodbath so maybe this would be a cool video to connect with some folks who maybe haven't found some of the underground bands yet and maybe from here you can go and check out my 10 new metal bands you haven't heard but should videos and discover how much great stuff the underground has to offer. Because if you like Bloodbath, I can assure you there's a lot of good bands doing similar stuff. Thank you for watching and stay metal.